Hi, welcome everyone. Oh, I can't wait to get my new video editor. Of course, um, I'm going to try to order with a disc this time because you see, um, when I lost the program and when I transferred uh, computers, um, the program is not transferable and I lost it. So imagine Bill Copeland, Pat Benoit, David Millar. Guys, thanks for the contributions. There's Rita Jagger, Penny Jones. Regis Feischweig, JD, John Douglas, and a lot more. I'm, I'm not remembering all the names. There's so much support, guys. I love you all for it. And uh, I forgot to put up those three names last time. So I'll put them in the, the video permanently now at the end. Don't worry. And forgive me for having not put them in the last video. We're looking at more anomalies on the surface and structuring on the surface of the moon we're going to start off with this beautiful crater Here's where I found the city. Look where I'll make the stars appear. Structure number one, structure number two. All of them are the same to each other in characteristic structure number three. And structure number four. Here's structure number five. And there's also two more structures, six and seven. Very similar right there and here of course the surface Plato crater um, a beautiful surface and you know Plato crater looks very flat right they even talk about it well Plato crater actually has a high albedo right so it would be outverted we would see it a bit like a mound and look what's inside of it here's an x-ray seeing again more lines crossing each other um, inside of the crater the lines that we see basically everywhere connecting things if it's not tunnels it's something that is um, relaying everything together obviously because we can see everything that looks connected inter 
um, interacting with each other with these pipes or tunnels. So it's sort of obvious that uh, there was some form of ma manipulation on the surface of the moon, and that is only my belief, and I'm just sharing that speculation with you. Um, the surface of the moon has a lot of areas, I think basically most of the areas, that looks like framing. You can see here, this is the area where the wall is. Look at the craters in the center, the white reflective craters that we see there, how we always see lines of those domes or whatever they are that are following each other. In Clavius Crater, we see them too. We see several of the supposed craters together. Now listen up, my friends. This is the city. I will flash a star exactly where the green, real, real surface structures are. And then I'll show you the close-up of this area. Now that is the area. Bottom left of there is Clavius Crater. So I'm not hiding where it is. So now let's go see the actual surface ground level view of this area. This is by far the clearest view of the surface of the moon I've ever seen of any structure. It's massive in proportion just by telling uh, of the surface around it. A magnifying lens is what you see that is round and there is a frame of plastic that makes almost the entire frame of this photo top right there's the city it's there guys these are structures look at the flat symmetrical crater that was made like it looks like paved <laughs> and the uh, top right uh, top left sorry more structures there this is one of the clearest photos I've ever seen in the, in the world of the surface of the moon. And this is my photo. I've taken it myself and clarified it like this. The proof in this photo is absolutely irrefutable. It's a structure. No one can say anything about it, unfortunately, because the proof is there. But still, we'll get people saying that the, at la the last resort, that it's a model or that I tampered it. Well, if ever it came down to uh, some authority coming by and saying, can I see this picture? Well, of course, sir. I'd give him all my photos to look at them. And he'd say, well, you found structures. Then he'd have to, but then he'd have to show the world. And this is what I'm trying to do is just share my findings. This is something beautiful to me. Bill Copeland, Pat Benoit, Dave Millar, thanks guys for the contributions. Um, your names will be there forever on the list, of course, because you're helping to get us closer to our goal, the community's goal too, along with me, for the observatory so that we can get uh, the, that telescope outside, open sky, higher up in the back of my house if I can, build a part there so that we can keep this telescope protected and get it out more often. WSO YouTube channel, check them out, please.